Hi, right, this is Dean DeCosta, and today I'm going to talk to you about a methodology for finding an email address. This specific email address um, methodology is something I'm sure a lot of people haven't really thought about it and, 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 and should definitely be of help to you. So to do this methodology, for one, you need Vibe. Vibe is a Chrome add-on that when you have an email address, you get the little purple um, icon, and it provides you information about that person based on their email. Also, to do this, you're going to need this Excel spreadsheet that I've created. Uh, page one is the top seven most uh, used naming conventions based on first name, last name. You can use this with work na domains or personal email domains. The third is an all up one, which basically lists 47 possible naming conventions based on first, middle, and last name, and then domain. And the one we're going to use today is in the middle, which is the most common personal. Um, these email uh, companies, inbox.com, excite.com, hotmail.com, msn.com, and Comcast are the most commonly used emails out there. So, um, 95 to 97% of all the people in the country have an email associated to one of these companies. Over here is the username. Uh, it's real simple. Every Everybody who's on a social network, which is almost everybody, has a username, and over 9% of the people who uh, have a username social network use that username with an email address, and usually it's one of these common ones. So in this case, we're putting search authority. That's my username for my uh, website. Um, we would copy all of these. I've already done it. Um, and we would open up Gmail and put them in a Gmail, which is right here and listed easy peasy. Everything works. So when you hover over an email, you get the vibe icon. You press it and you'll notice nothing. Uh, you do that with each one until you get one that looks like this. My picture, my name, a little bit about me. It just tells you basically this is the correct email. Uh, does it, it works a lot like how Reportive worked, uh, except now that Reportive was bought by LinkedIn, Reportive will only validate the LinkedIn associated email. This will validate any email and makes it quick and easy. And it, and it really is really simple. I mean, I, it, literally it takes seconds. Great tool.